Hi, my name's Pete. I am going to introduce to you the Amibox service. From your computer's browser, go to www.amivox.com and log on to Amivox. The first thing to do to start using the Amivox service is to add some contacts to my list. Start by adding my friend Maria as a contact. I click on Add and enter Maria's number, name and email address. And after having added several contacts and having used the Amibox service for a while, this is the way the dashboard will look. It's divided into three main areas. The first is the action area, where I manage the calls, text, SMS and voice messaging services. The second is the history area, where I can see the messages that I sent and received in the past, whether they were calls, text or voice SMS, shout or email, to whom and from whom they were and when they were made. And the third shows a list of contacts with whom I've last communicated. At the bottom, I can access the complete list of contacts. So let's now get started. I'm going to send a voice message to my friend Maria. I place the mouse over the star close to Maria's name and the list of options pops up. I select Voice and the Voice Action menu opens with Maria's name and number as the receiver. To record a voice message, I simply click on Record. The first time you do so, you'll need to grant access to the microphone. You can record a message again and again until you're satisfied with it. And of course, you can play and listen to it before sending it. Now that I'm satisfied with my third voice message, I can send it as a shout, a voice SMS or a voice email. I decide to send it to Maria as a shout and I click on Send. Let's review what has happened. I selected Maria as the receiver, recorded the voice message and sent it as a shout. What happens next is that the message is transferred to the Amivox server and a call is established to Maria's telephone. Maria sees that the call is coming from my mobile phone number and as soon as she answers it, she hears an electronic voice announcing this is a shout message. And right after that, Maria hears my voice message. Once the message has ended, Maria will have the possibility of hearing it for a second time. But if I choose to deliver the voice message to Maria as a voice SMS, she'll receive an SMS message from my number. When she opens it, she can click on a link in the SMS message to play my voice message. And if I send it as a voice email, Maria will receive an email message with a link to my voice message. If all I want to do is to send Maria a traditional text message, I can do it by accessing the SMS function on the Action panel. Here I can also review all SMS messages sent and received in the past. If I want to place an international call, I can save a lot of money if I use Amivox. All I need to do is to select the Calls function and click on the Call button. Almost instantly, I'll receive a call back on my mobile phone. And as soon as I pick it up, I'll hear the electronic voice announcing that the call is being connected. At the moment when I answer the call back, the Amivox system starts the call to Maria. And as soon as she answers it, we will be speaking together. Maria won't experience any difference between a traditional call and this one. All she sees is that I'm calling her. And as soon as she picks up the phone, I am there to greet her. This way of calling allows users to save a lot of money, especially on international calls. And here's a handy trick. I can change the number where I'll receive the call back. For instance, I can change it to my home phone number. Why? Well, because my mobile phone's battery may be running low, or simply because I know that the price of the call is even cheaper if I use a fixed phone rather than a mobile phone. And I can use any phone I like. There's no need to register any number in advance. We're looking forward to seeing you on Amivox. We'll be happy only when you are very happy with our service.